What is up, you guys? Sam Dog, the infamous 253, coming at you with Dallas Stewart on Spirit Farm. I know I was thinking about doing the recap tomorrow, but I think we're going to do a quick, quick one tonight. And man, I'll tell you what, that was another crazy Super Bowl from Las Vegas, man. Kansas City, they're a dynasty. They are officially now a dynasty. Yeah, they cemented themselves as a dynasty. And the first back to back champion since. 0304 New England Patriots 19, with Tom Brady. 19 years. Crazy that it's been that, it been that long. Yeah, when well, Chris Berman was saying it on NFL primetime. But, man, I'll tell you, whoo, <clears throat> it was crazy defense, man. Starting out, man, the 49ers, they looked like they had all the momentum on that first drive. And then freaking Christian McCaffrey gets stripped by George Karloftis and fumbled yeah, it. But that was a huge... That was a huge play in the game because the Niners were really moving the ball. And, yeah. But the Niners' defense did hold them after that. Though. They did. They did. The Niners, they they had a lot of that momentum, and they held them. And then freaking later on in that, freaking Jake Moody kicks what would be the longest field goal in Super Bowl history until we all know what happened way later in that, though, too, a 55-yarder. And then after that, just the Chiefs get a good drive going. He. Mahomes throws a bomb to Miko Harmon, and then Isaiah Pacheco loses his first fumble of the year, which I yeah, thought that was, was going to loom the largest, and it was looming yeah, pretty was large. It was uh, three to nothing at the time. They left like seven point seven or three extra points off the board after that yeah. one, man. And then later on, that crazy trick play with Jawan Jennings and Jennings tossing it back. I really thought there was an illegal man downfield, and the refs definitely missed that one. I really thought there was a hold on that, but then McCaffrey, very creative. That was actually a pretty freaking creative play. Jawan Jennings, the first player since Nick Foles to throw and catch a touchdown in the Super Bowl since Nick Foles with the Philly Special in Super Bowl 52. But, yep, Jawan Jennings tosses it back. McCaffrey gets an easy coast into the end zone, and it's 10-0. to And then later, the Chiefs get downfield and get a – Field goal making it 10 to 3 at halftime before Usher took the stage, which was awesome halftime show, in my opinion. Definitely was better than Rihanna last year. Way better than Rihanna. Oh, I um I haven't watched it yet. I was I was driving. Yeah, but then freaking uh afterwards on that, the freaking Chiefs get the ball. Mahomes throws an interception. Which, <clears throat> I don't know where Mahomes is throwing. Sorry, I got a bit of a cough, though. But, man, Mahomes throws a critical interception. And then Chiefs defense forces another three and out and forces a punt, man. It's like... I thought that was a critical moment in the game. Yeah, when the 49ers didn't cash in on the Chiefs turnovers or capitalize on the interception, I thought that was definitely big in that game. And then... Yeah, they could have they really uh, had a chance to create a cushion and... Had their chances to kind of put Kansas City away in that game. Yeah, but they didn't. They didn't. No, they didn't. And then later on, the Chiefs go down, and then Harrison Butker reclaims the longest field goal kick in Super Bowl history by kicking a 57-yarder, which he just barely, it almost got blocked, but he got it just between the hands, and it was pretty low, and I'm surprised he made that with how low that kick was. Yeah, that was a big-time kick right there. 57 yards to I put him down by four, and then freaking... Uh, Later on, the freaking Chiefs, they get held to a punt, and they punt, and the freaking ball hits off the Niners player's leg, and they try to, Ray Ray McLeod tries to get on it, doesn't quite do it, kind of like Kyle Williams in the 2011, in the, in the 2011 NFC Championship game when he muffed that yeah, punt. That was, kind, that, that was reminiscent that was, of Kyle Williams. That was one of the very few critical mistakes that, the 49ers made. And then, and then after the that, mistakes the 49ers made. Then Mahomes threw a threw a rainbow pass to Marquez Valdez Scantling to give him the lead. Yeah, at 13 to 10. 13 to 10, and then freaking later on after that, we all we all I've, they the 49ers go on a big drive. Sorry, my throat's really killing me, guys, in this. And but man, the 49ers go on a big drive, and then freaking Brock Purdy's able to hit. Jawan Jennings for a big touchdown. And, and then after the touchdown, this was the biggest play of the game. And that one point, boy, did it loom large. Oh, it sure loom large. That block it's PAT. Point. That block PAT, PAT, I think that that play freaking changed the game. 
Yeah, it changed the uh, <coughs> it changed the K KC's play calling. Yeah, they blocked being that down three instead of being down four. And then they ended up tying the game again with another uh, chip shot field goal. And then freaking San Francisco goes down, gets another field goal, and then freaking they, they botched that. They botched the their time management and that again. Final drive of regulation. Shanahan Shanahan botched it again, just like Super Bowl Fifty Four. Four, they pass and complete third and four. You know, one more. They pick up one more first down there, and that pretty much would have been the game. They could have set up Moody for the game winner because the Chiefs had used a critical timeout earlier in the first in the second half. Yeah, uh, and they just left Mahomes way too much time. Way too much time, indeed. And that blocked extra point was looming large because the Chiefs would have needed. A touchdown on that final drive. Exactly, exactly. They would have needed a touchdown on the final drive to win it. And then they freaking managed to hit Travis Kelsey. I thought for sure they were gonna get it. he was gonna get an opening and take it in for what would be a game winning touchdown, but then Mahomes yeah, tries so another yeah. does another pass and Andy Reid, at least he ain't Dan Campbell, smart enough, sends Butker out for the easy chip shot, tie the game, we go to overtime. Yeah, and the Niners Got the ball first in overtime, and it looked like they were getting ready to punt. And they almost threw an Chiefs interception, a, too. A holding, or they were called for a defensive hold on, like, third and long. Yeah, Trent McDuffie did grab uh, Jawan Jennings on that. That was a dumb hold call on him, man. I thought for sure that was going to cost them because they had a new Super Bowl overtime rules for the possession, even if a touchdown wouldn't end the game. But I'll tell you what was huge. Later on, when they got down the field after that big use check play and then frickin' They left Chris Jones unblocked, and frickin' Purdy had to throw it away, which made them have to kick a field goal. Chris Jones probably made the biggest yeah, play of the game on that. Yeah, and there was also a <coughs> critical holding penalty on San Francisco on that drive. Yeah. That was very... Yeah. Kansas City to hold them to a field goal. It was huge, and then they get the ball, and then they frickin' start going on their drive, and then I thought Pacheco was gonna get the first down, and they... It was fourth and one, and then Mahomes did his little option thing and got a few yards, slid down for a big first down with the game on the line. And then they freaking – Mahomes, what else happened after that big run? Uh, didn't they hit, like – Travis Kelsey? I think they hit Kelsey or somebody. On Rasheed the, Rice, Rasheed Rice. Rasheed Rice, and – yeah, the Niners' defense was just—it just, it just they were gassed. They were gassed. They they the Niners' defense just absolutely imploded, and then Travis Kelsey gets a gets makes a big play on a little dump off pass and get it just to the three for, for to make it first and goal. And they, they would, bled the clock all the way. They bled the clock all the way down uh, to where if they didn't get it. They could have tied it, and it would have sent it to a second overtime. And but the they score, the Chiefs had they their really score with like three seconds left. Yeah, but the Chiefs freaking. I thought for sure. I thought the Chiefs had scored that that would with the overtime time ending. But they said Chris Berman. Then were saying with this new overtime rules that the Chiefs still would have had like their first possession, and they would have taken it into like another quarter, which was kind of yeah, weird. The Chiefs have gotten the ball uh, first if it had gone to second overtime. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I think. Oh, no, no, Kansas City would have. Yeah, Kansas City would. Or, or no, no, what if, no, what if San Francisco got the ball back? I don't know. I don't remember. But it was weird, though, because they were talking about it with this new overtime rule. And then freaking Patrick Mahomes, wide open, Nicole Hardman, game over. Walk off winner. Walk off winner to McCole Hardman for the big touchdown. I was wondering who had scored that touchdown, but man. I cannot believe they had just imploded like that, and, McCole, and they left McCole Harmon wide open. I cannot believe still that. McCole Harmon started off this year with the Jets, and then the Chiefs made a trade to bring him back, and boy, did it pay dividends. Um, so, McCole Harmon is a two-time two champion now, or three? Three. Or was, he on the Jets was he on the Chiefs last year? He was on the Chiefs last year, yeah. Oh, I thought he might have been on the Jets last year. He was on the Jets during this season, but then the Chiefs traded back for him. So I Nicole would say what really hurt the 49ers was not taking advantage of the Chiefs turnovers. Oh yeah, for sure, man. Just they they definitely didn't take advantage and, and Shanahan's Drake poor clock management. That, that really ended up biting them, uh, at least on their defense. Yep, Kyle Shanahan does not know how to finish a Super Bowl. No. 
like Stephen A. Smith said, you, and the candlestick curse strikes again too. If you're, you know, for San Francisco, ever says leaving Candlestick Park, lead blower Kyle blows it a blows it again. For me, this, this has to hurt worse than Super Bowl Fifty Four. Oh, way worse because this they went were, to overtime. They, they were even. They were. They were even closer this time. Way closer, but their defense imploded in overtime. <coughs> but man. Them, them not taking advantage of the Chiefs' turnovers really came back to bite them and the block extra point. Yeah, but I'll tell you what. They got Shanahan mismanaging that final drive. Yeah, and also, man, I'll tell you what. Other than that, though, I don't think Brock Purdy has anything to hold his head down on, you know? They, no, he I, went toe-to-toe. He went toe-to-toe. Toe to toe with Mahomes. He did. He did. And I have a feeling we'll probably. Again, credit to San Francisco. They, yeah. They got a hell of a team. They do. They, 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 they were freaking. To, I don't think they have anything that, you know, feel bad about. They were. Their defense earlier was getting after Mahomes and get, just bringing the pressure. They, 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 they rattled him in the first half. They did. And I give props to them for that. They were rattling him. They were getting pressure. They were sacking him and just. They played their best game. Of the, they played their best game of the playoffs. Yeah. And it just wasn't enough. It wasn't enough, no. But, you know, it's like for a rival, you know, I got to give them props where it was. They were really getting after Mahomes. And I, they're still going to be around for a little while. But it's yeah, going to all depend still, on what we... still going to be a favorite in the NFC for years. Yeah, depending on what we do with Mike McDonald and that too. But, man, like I said, I was not sleeping on Mahomes this time around. And once again, Patrick Mahomes... Did his best Tom Brady impersonation when it mattered Everybody, the most. Uh, counted out the Chiefs this year, including me. I counted yeah. them out several times. We both this year. did. We both did. We both counted them I out. I mean, this, this, <coughs> this year, it just didn't look like it was their year this year. No, it, it did not look like it. And you know, and I, I remember. One of the more improbable Super Bowl teams that they've had. Yeah, and I, you know what else I could take pride in? That I got to watch the eventual champs in MetLife Stadium the night before I went to the to the Seahawks Monday night game yeah. against the Giants. I got to watch an eventual Super Bowl champion in my first non Seahawks NFL game. Yeah. Yep. And this it was, was and Mahomes this was a Super Bowl for the ages. It was, and Mahomes didn't even play his best game that game against the Jets. He got outplayed by Zach Wilson, but was still able to win the game because the defense came up big. And defense came up big for them in the uh, in the Super Bowl, and then Mahomes just. Did his thing. He got back to it with the crazy year that he had. Not his best statistic year, but in the end, he showed that you cannot afford to sleep on him. And now because of it, Mahomes has three Super Bowl wins in his six years as a starter. Four Super Bowl appearances. Lost to Tom Brady and the Buccaneers, obviously, in 2020. But Mahomes three and the Chiefs. Three ten-point comebacks, too. All, I, that's never happened before. Three straight. Three Three Super Bowls, three 10 point comebacks. That is just, yeah. you could already put Mahomes as a first ballot Hall of Famer. He already earned that. He, even before this, even before this, he already was a first ballot Hall of Famer. Yeah, and it's really cemented it. Yep, yeah. and Andy Reid definitely cemented himself too as a Hall of Famer. But what will happen afterwards with his coaching tenure? Will he retire? Will he go back? Will he try to run it back to try to get the first ever three peat? Who knows, you know, but it was just like, it was a hell of a run. And now because of that, the Chiefs have won, now won four Super Bowls. And now they are the big brother of the AFC West because they overtook Denver and they overtook the Raiders because both those teams have three Super Bowl wins as well. Yeah, and they are the new dynasty of the NFL. Yes, they are. Hate it or love it, the Chiefs are a dynasty. This has been... For them, this has been a one hell of a six-year run. It has been, and Mahomes is just, he's just getting started. He's just shown that you can never count Even him out. Even the years they haven't gone to the Super Bowl, they've been in the AFC Championship. Yep. Anyway, I'm going to sign out here, get ready to go to bed. Drop your thoughts in the comments down below. If you're new to the channel, you know what to do. But man, another Super Bowl gone by and just... What Another a season what, over. What a way to end the season. What, what a way to end it. Yeah. To me, this is going to go down, in my opinion, as one of the top five Super Bowls of all time. Yeah. I really believe that. Yeah. And this the, is probably the best Super Bowl since, like, Super Bowl 43. Yeah. Between the Steelers and Cardinals. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. Anyway. 
Catch y'all later. If you ain't with it, you ain't infamous. And as always, go Seahawks. Bring on free agency, bring on the draft, and bring on the Mike McDonald era for the Seahawks. But man, what a hell of a way to end the season.